Good evening, and welcome to another one of my episodes of A Verse a Day Keeps Islam Away. Today I would like to talk about something called abrogation and nasakh. Um, abrogation is a fascinating process that Muslim scholars have come up with in order to prevent themselves or prevent the Quran from, contradicti from contradicting itself. Abrogation, which sort of takes over a previous verse if one contradicts the other. It's al nasikh wal mansukh, the verse which abrogates and the verse which has been abrogated. It's sort of like saying, hey, if a newer verse comes after an older verse that contradicts it, then we can do away with the older verse as the newer verse is the better and improved one. Let's take a little look at this and see. I would actually like to speak about abrogation directly from Al-Qur'an. Okay? Um, first thing I'd like to go to is Surah Al-Baqarah, Al-Qur'an, Surah number 2, verse number 106. Whatever communications we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring one that is better or like it. Do you not know that Allah has power over all things? So in this verse it's very clear that every now and then Allah might decide, hey, you know what? What I told Muhammad is not really what I really intended to tell him or change my mind or you know what? I got a better one for you. Get better verse, better surah. So it's okay. He will abrogate the previous one and give you a better one. Now, let us move on to a different surah. Surah Al-Hajj, the pilgrimage. Al-Quran, uh, book number 22, verse number 52. And we did not send before you any apostle or prophet, but when he desired, the shaitan made a suggestion respecting his desire. But Allah annuls that which the shaitan casts. Then does Allah establish his communication, and Allah is knowing and wise. Before I move on, I just want to mention the Arabic for this one, because in the previous verse, it actually mentioned the word abrogation in it. Yes, uh, we abrogate. However, this one, it talks about, but Allah annuls. That's how it's translated. Let's look at the Arabic, see if the word nasakh is in there. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ وَلَا نَبِيًّا إلا إذا تمنى الشيطان في أمنيته فينسخ الله ما يلقي الشيطان ثم يحكم الله آيته والله عليم حكيم. It actually uses the word abrogation in Arabic. So it's actually saying that God will realize that a previous verse has actually been given by the shaitan, by the devil, and then he'll say, Oh my God, or Oh my me. This verse has been given by the devil, therefore I must give a different verse. So, tell me, Muhammad, how do we know which, verse, which verses were given to you by the shaitan, which verses were given to you by Allah? If, if every now and then Allah you know, realizes 50, 60 chapters later that, hey, one of these verses slipped by from a shaitan, he's going to abrogate it and clean it up. Does that not sound a little preposterous to you? Alright, one last thing I'd like to mention is a few days ago I made a video and the video was about Islamic tolerance of other religions. I mentioned in it uh, Surah number 109, Surah Al-Kafirun, in which uh, it was mentioned that to you be my religion, to me be, be my religion, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing again, you can look at it. Uh, but essentially, it's, it's a laissez-faire type of attitude. You do whatever you want, and I will do whatever I want. And this one is one of the very last surah, 
Surah number 109 in the Quran. Therefore, obviously, it abrogates everything before it. Everything that says about uh, kufar, uh, kill the non-believers, um, fight, do not take Christians or Jews as friends, hate the Jews, kill the Christians. It abrogates every single one into a loving, final uh, verse of peace. I learned something new today. The order, the chronological order of all these books in the Quran are actually not the order in which Allah revealed the Quran to Muhammad. Um, I have no, I, I really have no clue as to why the order was changed, but it has been changed. And all Islamic scholars agree upon a real order in which every surah was revealed to Muhammad through the angel Gabriel, whether he was a fly or what, whatever form he took. Um, now, this surah number 109, one of the very last one that abrogates all the previous bad surah, all the previous wars and fighting and hating, it actually it was not number 109. It was actually revealed as uh, surah number 18. Okay, bear with me for one second. Now, let's look at one of the most violent and cruel uh, surah, like uh, Surah Al-Anfal or Al-Baqarah. Those were in the 80s and beyond. Actually, Al-Baqarah was surah number 87. So, don't think right now that just because a verse appears later in the Quran physically, chronologically, the way you see it, is what abrogates, it's what yensakh ma qablahu, abrogates what came before it. You actually need to look at what Allah had revealed to Muhammad. That's all I have for today. You have a wonderful evening, and I look forward to seeing you later. Bye.